Hey, what's up, traders? The watch list video for Wednesday. I can't believe it's Wednesday already, or will be tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday, January 5th. Another pretty boring day. We had a gap up in the market, which isn't my favorite scenario as a kind of a long biased day trader. Um, and I'll show you five minute candles. After the gap up, it pretty much rolled over, small bounce rolled over again, but had a kind of a nice slow afternoon climb. Somewhere about here, I asked everyone in the room if the market had closed and they didn't tell us. I mean, it was really, really slow and boring. But let me show you one thing. Thanks to Nicholas in chat, because there wasn't a lot working. Um, he pointed out R-E-L-I when it looked about like this. I had already called it earlier, um, somewhere uh, somewhere like here-ish maybe, I can't remember. Um, and it didn't get going very far and came right back down. I ended up taking a flat, then it, it, then it ran, and then it went and took and actually hit the half, hit 850 to the number. As it started to curl back up, Nicholas gave the heads up over 850. Keep in mind, we had yesterday's high above and this one has been making intraday squeezes recently. So there you go, there's the 850 break and it went up over 10. I saw on Twitter, Wayne actually sold some at 10. So I, he's real good at eking the most out of the trades, something I plan on getting better on this year. It's gonna be one of my major focuses in my own trading is, is trying to get more out of the trade, right? Um, so that was a kind of a neat call by Nicholas and I think he, he helped a lot of us have a decent day um, after a slow morning, right? Anyway, let's get to the watch list for tomorrow. It's actually kind of big, so pay attention. GILT goes on long watch. Uh, we had the big pop yesterday, today an inside day, but closed near the highs. IVAC, kind of the same thing. Big pop yesterday, today closing pretty close to the highs. Another inside day after a strong day, so that one's interesting. VNOM, big volume for that stock and closing off of its highs, but a nice move. We'll see if we get any kind of continuation set up tomorrow. This one's kind of obscure, but it's interesting to me anyway. BFRI had such a huge move back here, and now it's fallen for like six, seven, eight days in a row, something like that. You kind of have that indecision candle today where it closed about where it opened. So I am putting this on bounce watch. Again, I'm not a swing trader. This is just me looking for a potential day trade as a bounce play setup that we teach um, tomorrow. So if we get an A plus setup, for a bounce play tomorrow, I will be taking that trade. Um, says BFRI, several bounce plays on watch. GNPX falls into the bounce play category. You had the big day, quiet inside red day on much lower volume, looking for that third day play there. ISIG goes back on bounce watch. It never broke its early high today. It is kind of in that buy zone. It's going right back on bounce watch for tomorrow. Um, DGX. Couple ugly days in a row, and the green line is the 60 EMA that I use for fives for my five minute charts, but uh, it's pretty close to the 50, suffice it to say. And so we did get two big days down in a row to kind of stop it, uh, not stop it, but it, it, it closed right around the 50 day with two big days um, down. So I think that's a decent setup for a potential bounce play tomorrow. HIMX, couple ugly days after a big move uh, potential for a snapback bounce tomorrow. Again, only with a proper intraday setup. PRDS, same thing. Big move, three days in a row down on lower volume. That one goes on bounce watch. Um, hang on a second. I got to figure something out here. All right, I figured it out. I had it written down wrong in my notes. Um, KPRX had the big rip four days ago. Now a few days lower on declining volume, I am putting that on bounce watch. Um, and DNAY, my final bounce play for tomorrow, uh, big move here, and now you've got a few days in a row down, back down, hit the eight day today. So that's uh, quite a few bounce plays, or I should say potential bounce plays. FLGC had a nice gap up, kind of showed some strength near the end of the day, never did break its early high, but traders might find that volume spike and it, you know, it's trading above Probably a month's worth of trading now, so we'll see if it gets a follow-through setup. AACG, big move, big volume, and if you look at the intraday, look what happened. It did it all in the last 30 minutes of the day, so something's up there. Definitely want to watch that one. Um, yeah, not much activity in, in after hours on that one, so that one goes on watch. R-E-L-I, uh, again, I talked about the call by um, Nicholas today in chat, a very strong close. So that goes back on watch. It's definitely making intraday squeezes and a lot of traders are watching it. So keep that one on a chart all week. And then lastly, REE, -E, kind of a, a, I don't know, less known name, but nice little breakout today over the recent highs. 
decent volume. We're going to see if it gives any kind of continuation setup tomorrow. That's it, guys. I'm done babbling. I'll see everybody in the chat room in the morning.